Hello everyone, this is Sleepless Ninja. Welcome back. So today, let's root the Nexus 7. First off, we're gonna go to our Nexus 7 that's already unlocked, and fresh from the unlock on its stage, we wanna re-enable in our developer options our USB debugging, okay? We should see the little jelly bean guy up there. We're all familiar with it from the previous videos. Now, um, for the routing, I really like to point out this guide. I don't directly follow it, but this is a perfect written example by Faded Light, um, who also gathered these details from Birdman. Um, please use this for a text base and also to download the files that I also am using in this. You know, big props. I love the XDA developer community. Please, if you don't go there and you're rooting your Zoom, you need to go there. There is just a plethora of so many amazing um, articles there. Okay, so now for my rant and props to XDA, let's, um, we want to download the super user, SU. Um, a little rant on Chainfire. If there's any other super user that's not coming from Chainfire, don't download it. Make sure it's really from this particular um, place. And um, we want to download the zip. Um, this is what's flashable through Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is the other thing that we're going to download. So back to our lovely XDA post. And we want to download Clockwork Mod Recovery. Just click here, and it's going to download. I already have them downloaded to save us time, so I'm going to go open up my files and go to my downloads folder. And you can see Here's my super user, and here's the Clockwork Mod Recovery file, okay? So what we want to do, um, now that we have our Nexus 7 USB debugging enabled, and it is um, on and connected, we're going to go to it, look at the internal storage, and we want to copy um, the file here. Um, just, just, just for posterity's sake, I'll paste it manually here, just to see it. So you want to copy this um, clockwork mod dash super user su um, from the chain fire onto your just your internal storage, just the root folder. When you go into your Nexus 7, it's just the root, okay? Then what you want to do is we want to go back to downloads and we want to take this um, the clockwork mod grouper recovery. Let's copy this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our user file, our user profile, where our Android library is located. You know, I emphasize putting it in the user profile. So we're going to go there, and we're going to go to my my user profile name is Schaefer at home, but for you it might be something different, whatever your username is. And then we're going to go to our Android SDK. I have two here. Just remember, this is just one that I made uniquely for us. Um, but whatever your Android SDK is, go in there, and then go into the platform tools. Then let's paste it in here. And then you can see I have it pasted um, right here. Our CWM grouper recovery. Okay. Now with all of that, we are all set to begin the route. So we just need the super user on our Nexus. And we need our grouper in our platform tools folder. Okay. So let's pull up our um, command prompt. CMD in the search or in run if you're running like XP. And here we go. And what we want to first type in is we want to go into the bootloader. So we want to type in ADB reboot bootloader. All right, and press enter. Oh, what did I do? I did not navigate to the Android SDK. Remember that. So dir, now we see where our Android SDK is right here, as pointed out on the screen. And we're going to do cd android-sdks. And then cd space platform tools. OK. Now, some of you might be saying, well, why didn't you put it in your environment variable path and blah, 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 blah. It is. However, for most people, that's a lot of complex steps, and I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. That's, that's the only reason why. Ideally, yes, you would just have it in your path, and that's what I do normally on a day-to-day -day basis, which is why, again, I have those two separate folders. So just for your technical 
for the technical people out there, that's why I did that. That's why I have two different Android SDKs and, and all of that. Now, back to the actual um, rooting process. So now that we are in, you can see there's our ADB, there's our fat, fast boot, and we also have our grouper recovery image, okay? And just to test if our device is recognized, we'll type in ADB devices, okay? Enter. And you can see our device is there. So once again, we're going to type in ADB reboot bootloader and press enter. And so you can see our Nexus 7 rebooted and now we want to flash clockwork mod recovery, okay? So in order to flash clockwork mod recovery, we are going to use fastboot, okay? So we're going to type in fastboot. Um, we're going to then type flash space recovery space and then we're going to type in the file. So we're going to type in exactly that file name, okay? So it's cwm-grouper-recovery.img. Now, make sure the spelling and everything is correct. These are one of the things that you can input that actually could affect Softbrick, your device. So just make sure the file name and the commands match up. Just a recommendation. And then, and sorry about the wraparound. And then press enter. Okay, and so now on our Nexus 7, we flashed Clockwork Mod, and what we want to do is on our Nexus 7, just navigate using the arrow to recovery mode and use the power button to select it. So you navigate using the volume to recovery mode and then press power to open up recovery mode. And now this is a touch-based recovery for those of you that are not familiar. Now there's one step that we have to do here. Um, it's temporary, but um, we have to go in to mount and storage. Just tap it. It's really cool. And we want to go to mount system. Now once um, system is mounted, what we want to do is we want to migrate a recovery file because if we don't do this, we're going to lose the recovery that we just flashed. And um, so, just so you can see it on the screen as well, um, what I'm going to do is first type in ADB shell, and this is going to take us into shell. Now you'll see it looks a little bit different. We have this um, Ambersam hash. So we're in the shell, and we want to press CD, then space, forward slash system and we want to press enter. Make sure you're mounted at this point that you mounted the system, by the way, or this won't work and we'll give you an error. And then what you want to type in now that we're in system is MV for, for move recovery dash from dash boot dot P recovery dash from dash boot dot back. Okay, so make sure Again, it's one of those things where you should just double check that we match up, okay? And it looks like we are good. And we're gonna press enter. And you can see here that I came across a problem.
So this happens sometimes, and I'm glad it happened on this one because now we can see it in the video. So when we're doing the move, we're trying to move this file and replace um, this other file. And you can see that I, I kind of pulled up in the shell the files, and there is no recovery from boot.p. It doesn't exist. So that's why we're getting that no file or directory. So th th this, this sometimes happens following this method. Um, so there are a couple solutions. Um, right now, what this means is um, I, I can only use clockwork mod recovery this one time, then I have to reflash it and um, fix it. So what I'm going to do is um, just install super user, and then after the fact, install clockwork mod recovery using ROM manager. And um, that, for everyone, should fix their issues. So in order to exit the shell, because we're in the shell and not the normal command, Windows command, we want to press control on the keyboard, CTRL, usually on the bottom left, and then C, and it'll exit the shell. And we're back into where we can type our ADB and fastboot commands. All right, then back on this device, let's unmount the system. And um, to go back, all you have to do is press the power button on your device. And then we want to install zip from SD card, okay? And then we want to choose a zip from the SD card. And then you can see that file we dragged into the internal storage is right here. And we want to install it. The touch interface is great. Big props. I think Kush, Kush did this, and it's, it's phenomenal. And there we go. We installed Super User. So what we want to do next is go back using the power button and reboot the system. So we're all done for the, the PC side. Um, so we no longer need our PC, so we'll stop looking at that and we'll just focus on the Zoom. Excuse me, the Nexus 7. I'm going to do this to eternity and I'm going to get so many um, nagging troll comments. I, I can already see it now. Okay, so now that we're started back up, I am just going to take a second to register um, onto the Google Play Store and um, so I can use that to download the appropriate apps. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So first, just to show you, SuperSU is installed, so kudos for that. Um, now, let's go to our Play Store, okay? Oops, sorry, wrong thing. And what we want to do in the Play Store is download ROM Manager. Let's open it up. Okay. And the other thing, while we're at it, let's download BusyBox. For your rooted device, BusyBox is a must. Um, it's a sweet of things that run in the back end that really um, help in a lot of different situations. Things that are very transparent to you that you don't even realize. Just download it and install it. Many of the ROMs just have this pre-installed. It's going to ask for root. It's the first time we were. This kind of shows that our device is rooted and let's just install.
experiencing some lag or something, huh? There we go. Let's install it. All right, once it's installed, let's exit out. Let's go back to ROM manager. And what we want to do is we want to flash clockwork mod recovery, okay? We want to just confirm this is the Google Nexus 7. Grant. All right. And we don't want any in app purposes. Let's just reboot into recovery. And there we go. This is not, not a touch one but you can now manually flash the zip of the touch one and you'll be all set, okay? Well, that concludes our tutorial. You now have root, you have now clockwork mod recovery, you have BusyBox, this is all the building blocks to having a nice rooted device to do all the sorts of things that you wanted to do with it. Thank you so much everyone, have a wonderful day.